come along thrifting today as I stop at a new place and check out their deals. Lots of fun things to see and then a haul at the end. So let's do a little thrifting and then I'll share my thrifted haul and a haul from my local bin store. All right, friends, so I am back with another haul after I stopped at this new thrift store, the Gift and Thrift, in a whole different city than I've been to. So that was a fun little adventure. I found some wonderful pieces, and then I hit up our local bin store. They have raised the prices, so I did go on the $3 day and found... Um, so a few home decor pieces and a few clothing items I wanted to share. So they've been closed for about a month and a half and so um, with inflation I'm sure they had to reprice things, their costs went up so but $3 for brand new items is still pretty decent in my opinion. So I'm excited to share this spring like haul. I feel like I have been out thrifting a lot lately. It's been fun and fun to share with you. So let's jump into the thrifted home decor first. All right, first piece is this gold framed picture frame. It is definitely my style. It matches my aesthetic. All the yellow tags at this store were 90% off. So what a steal, because this was a dollar. So 90% off of a dollar. I do have the tag. 20 cents, of course. So 20 cents for this beautiful frame. It has the black um, velvet backing. It stands, but I just thought that would be really nice for a family picture in our bedroom. There is a little ding on it right here I see now, but no biggie. It's used for 20 cents. Even used frames you can't find that cheap either. So, so excited to have found this frame for 20 cents. All right, I found this copper mold, like another jello mold, $2 on there for um, yellow tag, so 40 cents I wanna say, and that was something I will be putting into my antique booth. I still haven't been able to go and restock because it's not in our local town, so it's a little ways to drive there and restock, but I thought this was super cute. Again, you could hang it on your wall if you wanted. 
you could decorate with it you could just make a little bit of jello you can resell it this was an adorable little creamer pitcher it was a dollar yellow tag 20 cents then and I really thought that was just really cute to if we have guests over put creamer in there or put in my booth it is I'm struggling to read it here, but I do think it's a Homer Laughlin. Um, I'll insert a clip of what the bottom says. So you pros at this type of stuff, tell me if that's what you're reading on here too. But I really liked the um, gray on the bottom and the silver, the pretty florals. It would be very pretty to decorate with even for spring with some peonies. It looks like there's some peonies on here sticking out. So just something fun to find. Very little, probably like a one cup, one and a half cup little creamer pitcher, but very adorable and very, very affordable. This was my favorite find. If you watched my last um, like day in the life video, I showed this. It's a Federalist Ironstone. And I believe this was two. Yeah, I think this one was two, but that was okay. I was totally, or a dollar. I took the tag off already because I've decorated with it already for spring. And so I really just liked the oval shape of the little plate and it's in really good condition. It's actually very white, so not faded at all, but I really thought that would be very pretty to have out for spring and serve little treats on or just to have as decor. Um, I did get a few clothing pieces, but the first, this little piece here that I've already decorated with is a crock. I think it was a dollar already and it didn't have a top to it, but it does say Wisconsin Homestead on this side. And so that was really fun. It's very gray. I have more tan and cream colored crocs. So this one needed to be like on its own separate shelf. If you watch my last video again of the decorating for spring and my um, day in the life, I tried to rearrange this over on my wire shelves, but I really like how it just sits here with some of my full flowers in it. So that's where it's gonna stay. That's where it's at for my living area spring tour that I'll be sharing. So that was a, another great find. So that thrift store, if I ever go back to that town again, I will be stopping. Cute little 2T Cherokee shirt for spring and summer for my little girl. And then I did find a shirt for my husband. I didn't pull that out. Just a um, Hopolo shirt. Another one for church or dressing up a little bit. And then yes, this is for me after baby. So I did think if I find button downs, I look for those because I do nurse after I have baby. And it's gonna be summer, it'll be mid-May. Um, so then all of summer I'll be nursing. It is a no connect brand. I thought that was very summery with the ch um, checkered. It just does have a spot for a belt loop, but I probably won't put a belt on it. And it's very forgiving because it's flowy. So great for out working in the garden or just to wear around. It's above the knees. So I don't know how short that will actually end up looking. I haven't tried it on because I have a belly right now with a baby. So it wouldn't fit particularly well right now. But again, great for nursing because it is button all the way down. And I do look for button downs when I am shopping for postpartum since I do nurse just to make it so much easier. Um, not having, so I can wear dresses too and not having to hike up a dress or a shirt all the time. It has those two little pockets there, but that was $2 as well. Okay, on to my bins haul. So I did pick up a game and a painted um, wind chime for my daughter to paint to hang outside in the spring. So that was $3. The game was for a friend actually. But the wind chime, she had so much fun painting it yesterday after we bought it and she just loves the arts and crafts type of thing which is great and really good at that. So. That was a fun little find for $3. And then this really pretty candlestick. They were a box of two, um, one never opened for a large candle. And this is more modern. So I'm debating on if I should use it in my home or not, or in our guest cottage. Um, 
I like mixing some new with some old and so I thought this might look good in my spring decor. Um, I have, like I said, it came with two. I do have a few wider candles as well that I can put on here or I might save it for a new season, but it is Quaint Herrera design. So I'm guessing it was bought from Amazon and returned. But $3 for two of these, I thought that was really pretty. And I love just the old uh, faded look on there with the gray paint. All right, and then each of these, I got two of these baskets. Each was $3. So the seagrass type style basket, I just couldn't pass it up. It seems so springy, so summery. I am a sucker for baskets and brand new. You can find baskets at thrift stores at Goodwill for $3 or more. You usually can't find baskets super cheap anymore at thrift stores. Garage sales on the other hand, I can find them relatively cheap. But I couldn't pass this up to have two with the handle on the front. Um, they won't fit on my shelf. My shelf is pretty narrow, which I kind of would, would hope that they were deeper than that. but. This will have to sit somewhere else, store some toys, store some books, store something cute. Uh, maybe in my kitchen I can have a little basket there on one of the shelves or something. But we're in the bathroom after the reno is completely done. So that's an idea. There we go. Just thought of an idea. Thinking out loud here while I'm filming for you. So two of these for $3 a piece. Okay, then that was it for the home decor at the bins. I found this adorable Target brand dress for my four-year-old, she's going to be four-year-old. She had to try it on yesterday and so cute, it has pockets, it was just so springy and summery and it was $3 so I just thought what a beautiful dress for her. I love that pattern, it's Cat and Jack brand so she tried it on and then wore it the rest of the day yesterday. But beautiful little dress for my daughter. The tag had said like 20 on it. So brand new with tag, $3. Speaking of another dress, I did pick up a brand new dress for myself. Universal Thread. Um, it is buttoned down. It is long sleeve, but it is longer than the knees, which I love. and has pockets. It is... Um, it was $30 originally. Um, it's cotton, so it'll be flowy for summer. I'll just stand up here and show you. Has the tie around the waist, halfway buttoned down, and then it has the pocket. You can two pockets. So I just thought that would be so pretty to wear after baby again, because May can be chilly sometimes too. We're in the fall. I mean, this is definitely maroon, so it's more fallish, but. $3 for a brand new universal thread dress. I could either list it on Marketplace or I will wear it. Okay, I'm gonna quickly hop back on and share three more things I got at my bin store um, on Dollar Day, actually. This they just gave to me. It is a pretty, looks like watercolor painting. Um, there is some damage up here. There's like a water, a watermark, so I was thinking for a bathroom renovation because it kind of matches what I'm hoping for above my beadboard. It hasn't ever been hung or used, but I think it just was in storage or something. Something happened to it, but I thought it was so pretty. And maybe I can take the white matting off from around there. I'm not sure. If you have ideas how to get rid of that wet watermark, or I'll just hang it how it is. And then this is a um, essential oil soap for a dollar. It's smells really good um it's called love but i don't know what the main scent is but it does smell really good um and then i really liked this green on this book for dollar the humane home so even some fun recipes in there how to i don't know just save energy in your home and your garden and what you do with living which is kind of cool like you know, that's kind of how I am. I love gardening. I love um, doing things naturally. I'll see, look at even a kombucha recipe. So this is definitely something I will probably look through myself. So fun little extra finds to add here to this haul. So not a large haul, but I've been sharing a lot of thrift with me's and hauls for you guys. I know you enjoy them. I've been enjoying going out shopping and thrifting, restocking my antique booth with things. Um, adding some different pieces to my home decor. 
and I hope you're enjoying these as well and definitely stay tuned for my spring home decor tours coming up. I'll be sharing my living area and how to decorate your kitchen for spring and just some fun videos there as well. So give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and I will talk with you in the next